だこの優勝決定戦をかけたリングにケニー・オメガはたった1人で乗り込んできたザ・クリーナーケニー・オメガ左膝を調整するようなしぐさまさかまさかあとてもいいのだ後藤に対して何を狙うケニー・オメガそしてブラッドうわブラッドサンデーまさかまさかうわ AJ スタイルズのスタイルズクラッシュ全部全部引っ込めて G1 も取りに行くきたうわ入った肩よくの天使だニュージャパンドリームいやー新日本が俺のホームリングだそう強く言い切ったケニー・オメガ初出場で G1 初めて外国人制覇という偉業を成し遂げましたtake all of my training time seriously I I can't rest too much my knees are bad um, but there are other ways to work around it so I'm gonna be going back to my summer home my cottage and um, I'm gonna do a special kind of training I can only do in the summertime there and that's the kind of shape that I got in for the G1 so uh, if I continue in the next two weeks I should be in even better shape by the time I return in September. What's the year like? Is this like a big change? Yeah, everything's changed. The whole game has changed. I'm in my new home, New Japan. I'm a heavyweight. The first wrestler to win the G, or the first foreign wrestler to win the G1. I participated in the first ladder match ever in New Japan for wrestling. I'm changing the business, changing the company that was based completely off of tradition. These are things that I've always wanted to do because I hated wrestling. I hated what wrestling was. I loved the idea of pro wrestling. Pro wrestling can be anything. If you can imagine it, it can happen in the world of pro wrestling. Not many people understand that. So in this world that I created in my mind, I want to show it to everyone. Even if it's just one idea, one new special idea, I want to show it to the world. And in this year alone, I've been showing so many ideas. It's like I've opened up a door and invited everyone into the twisted mind of Kenny Omega. It's been a lot of fun, but it's been going at such an alarming pace. I felt like this one year has been like three or four. It's too much of a success. And the scary part is that it isn't even over. We still got, like, what, four months to go? It's crazy. I think for a lot of people, it's different. There's no two wrestlers that really feel the same about what it's like to be on the road. I think that's why the Young Bucks and I, as much as we connect in the ring, we connect on a personal level, too. We look at being on the road sort of the same way. We don't... A lot of people have to shut off a part of their heart when they're on the road to forget about where they came from. And I think a part of what makes us strong is that we keep that part on. So we remember where we came from. We remember the important stuff. We remember our other home, remember our other family,
remember our other friends, our training partners. And we remember that what we do, we're doing for them as much as we're doing for ourselves. So it doesn't make failure an option. You have to succeed. Even if it means that it makes your journey more lonely. People like the Young Bucks and I, we thrive on pressure. So putting the added pressure on us, uh, having those feelings of emptiness, loneliness, it makes us stronger. Uh, your friends know this person. Oh, yeah, he's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's there? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, yeah. Come on in. Yeah, we, I guess we're just going to talk about the format. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, so we talked about how wrestlers like me, we don't shut off the part that makes us remember where we came from. We keep that part on so that we're always tethered to home. Not the home that is Japan, but the home that I have in Canada. So I always remember my friends, my family, my training partner, and speak of the devil. You got one right here, my training partner, best friend, Jason Geiger. Hello. And uh, we brought him on board for this thing. Here he is, we got the same flight home. And what more can I say aside from <laughs> we've known each other almost uh, over 15 years, six, 17 years now. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Over half our lives. Yeah, half my life. Mm. We've been best friends. How would you describe him? He works. He's a hard worker. Tough question. Yeah. He. Um, He's got a he's got a fun side too, but I think that's important, um, especially in the in, in the wrestling business. I think she knows about the fun side already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want uh, them to take that the wrong way. I'm just, we've been joking a lot. He knows yeah. how to, even though he doesn't get to do it a lot, he knows how to turn turn it off, which is important. Um, even if it's only two weeks at a time, he turns it off. But otherwise, even when the when the off switch. When the switch is turned off, he's working hard. We're training together. He's constantly in the gym. He's constantly studying future opponents. He's he's always immersed in wrestling, whether he's in Japan competing, whether he's back in at home in Canada relaxing. Maybe this this might be the it's it sounds crazy, but being at the airport is kind of our only rest. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Your time. No, it's a, no no. I don't mean that in a bad way. No no. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you don't have rest time in no. Canada. You have a training kind of camp. The yeah, camp. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that still resets the clock. It's still the only thing that, that dials back my stress. Because your friend is there. I, I'm always alone. But being <laughs> home at those summer training camps, that's, that's really more than any break I could ask for. That's better than any break I could ask for. Um, even though it's based around training. It's just about making me a better human. Inside and out. Yeah. We look like we look like royalty in those seats. They, they thought we were somebody right. to do with So were you, either, were you floor level or you were kind of elevated we, a little bit? It was like, it was like box. Picture you had like a box, box seat or whatever? Yes, yes, oh, okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we were in actual chairs, rotating chairs. I'm getting a magnet right Magneton, um, yeah, magneton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I, the, I almost have electro kind of one Man. away because there was a nest at Joy. Oh, well, end of the road. Looks like that's it. That's all. I guess I will see you guys. In September. Goodbye. Woo. And good night.